to my channel today I am in my kitchen yet again but today I'm going to walk you guys through the process of what we did to design this kitchen in our apartment everything from picking the cabinets out to picking a paint color for them designing these shelves that you see behind me all of the above I'm going to share the process and insert some footage that I took a few months back whenever we were actually in the thick of designing this space and if this is your first video here with me, make sure to check out our home building playlist. We built this apartment inside of a pole barn on our property that we are living in while we build our forever home. So I'm sharing lots of home building content. If you like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But before we get started with the apartment and talking all things about the kitchen, I wanna thank Zoo Lily for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love Zoo Lily. I've shopped on their website for years. They have tons of brands on their website and they have such great deals. Everything is priced really well and you can find some really nice home decor on there. So that's what I'm focusing on today. I've got a few kitchen items, even clothing like this dress you see me wearing and a few things that I'm really excited to decorate in the apartment with, but also in the new house. So here's the full dress. I love it. I think it's so pretty for summer. It's kind of like a really light nude peach color. It's this really pretty like buffalo check pattern. And I love like the three tiered look of it. I just think it's so pretty and light for summertime. It also has these straps that you can adjust to whatever height you want so you can make the dress longer or shorter. I was able to search women's summer dresses and this was one of the first ones that popped up and then once I clicked on this one it gave me recommended items down below that were in similar styles but they also had an athletic shop, a sneaker shop and those are really neat because you can click on the shop and it gives you a lot Lots of different options in the same categories. They also have limited time deals, free shipping, and everything ships out really quick. I got a few of these items in just a few days, so the shipping was really fast. I had a big item as well, and it came packaged wonderfully. I'll show you that in a second. I wanted to refresh our kitchen towels for the summer, and I have all of these pegs behind me, and I love to hang up towels on them, so I found this set of two that I thought was so cute. Let me open them up and show you. Okay, here's the first one. It's very large. It's a great material and it has the hook. So I'll be able to hang this up on those shelves. No problem. This one is mainly white with just a little bit of taupe. So this will fit into our aesthetic of the kitchen really well. The other one is probably my favorite. This looks a very farmhouse. It's just this really pretty plaid pattern. It also has a little hook so you can hang it up to dry but you can see it's got more of a heavy grid pattern along the edges and then it's um, more simple in the middle. So love these two to refresh for summer. And then I also got a new apron because I love wearing aprons when I'm cooking. That way I mainly don't wanna get oil on my clothes. So I seen this one and I thought it was beautiful. This is again, the Tag Kitchen and Cloth brand, the same brand that the kitchen towels were. Let me put it on and show you. First off, I love love the color and I love the pattern. It has a really big, nice pocket in the front and it also has a hook on the inside so you can hang your apron up, which I love. I'll probably hang it on our shelves as well. And then it ties around the waist. So you just put it over your head, just tighten it up by pulling the straps out and you just tie it around, tie it in the back. Okay, and there you go. So I've got a nice big pocket. This is a super long apron, so nothing is going to get on my clothes, which I really like. My other one is kind of smaller, so I feel like I'm still not fully protected. It's gonna keep you super covered, so I like that a lot. This is such great quality as well. Like This is a really heavy apron, and the kitchen towels are really good quality. The dress is really good quality. 
I am really impressed with everything that I've gotten so far. I have two more home decor related items and one is something that I'm gonna put either here in the apartment or I might just save it for the new house, but it's this really pretty wall sconce. Here it is. I just love this look so much. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but it's this gold center and it has these two white shades just hangs on the wall you can wire it in it came with dimmable light bulbs with it as well and all of the wiring that goes with it it was really easy to assemble and put together and i love this gold color sometimes they're a little too light of a gold which i'm going to talk about here in a little bit um something that i wish was a little bit darker like this i just feel like this is a very rich pretty classic gold. So I love this lamp. I've seen these all over Pinterest as I've been looking for new home inspo and for like hallways and stuff. If you just put this at the end of a hallway, it's amazing what a little bit of light can do for a small space. So if you have any like nooks or crannies or like a space in between a window try adding a really pretty wall sconce it's like the best decor i'm obsessed with wall sconces ever since moving into the apartment i have quite a few in this one room just because it's so nice to have the extra light at night so i love this one it was a great deal i think it's just a great quality they had tons of different ones to choose from as well if gold isn't your thing they had black ones they had different shades of gold um they just had tons of options on there. Save the best for last. This was something that I was searching for for the new house and it is an olive tree. So it's a faux olive tree, but it looks real. I think the brand was nearly natural, I believe, or something like that. I'll link it down below, but it came packaged really well. I wanted to show you before I took everything off. They wrapped the leaves up, but it didn't squish them. I hate whenever you buy floral stems online and they're just smushed down into a box. So this has just like light plastic on it and then it came in a cardboard box that just slid right on top of it. So the packaging was great. Good job, Zoo Lily. And then the base of it was wrapped in a box as well with some more um, stuffing, like bubble wrap in there. So it is super secure. I can't wait to show you guys. The branch literally looks real. So super impressed so far. Let's open it up and check it out. Well, this is absolutely stunning. I am very, very impressed with the quality. The branch looks great. All of the individual branches look really good as well. Let me give you a closer up look. This was such a great price as well for an olive tree. So I am very, very happy with this. So here are the branches. You can see the main trunk literally looks like a real tree branch and it does have actual olives on it. I like that they're different colors. The coloring is really good. This is just such a good one. It looks like it could go into a different pot, so I'm just going to place it in here. Place it right into this basket. Here we go, how beautiful. I am obsessed with that. I think that just totally makes this space. It helps with the height of the mirror so good if you've been looking for an olive tree definitely check this one out it's very tall as you can see i think that mirror is seven and a half feet tall so it's taller than that mirror and you could probably make it even taller if you put some of the taller branches straight up but i will have everything that i showed you guys linked down below i'll have special links for zoo lily make sure to check them out and thank you again to zoo lily for sponsoring this portion of today's video okay now back to the kitchen design and what we did whenever we were building this apartment kitchen. When we first decided to build this apartment, we knew that we wanted the kitchen on one wall. We wanted it to feel very open in here. We went with 12 foot ceilings to help with that. That's the ceiling height of the barn. So we figured we might as well and just go all the way up to make it feel very open in here since it is very small. The whole apartment is only 760 square feet. So we have one bedroom and we also have one bathroom that serves as our utility room and also has our hot water heater in it. So it's very tight. 
So I had to completely maximize the space for the kitchen because it was super limited. We had two windows installed in the barn and I knew I wanted to have the sink probably in front of the window. I just like the way that looks. I like being able to look outside whenever I'm washing dishes and stuff. So we started with that. I wanted to have the sink base cabinet in front of the windows. So that would be a smaller section of cabinets. And then I wanted the majority of the cabinets to be along the longest wall in the apartment and in the middle of that we would have our stove and then at the end we would have our refrigerator and I also wanted a pantry for food so we did that as well so basically we had a layout that was a rough estimate layout in our heads we knew the size of the walls that we had to work with and we went picked out base cabinets these were like the base model cabinets that they had in stock they were of really good price and the quality wasn't awful so we were actually really surprised with them you could tell the wood wasn't the best quality or maybe they just needed sanded down really good because they do have some like texture in the cabinets a little bit and they're not soft clothes or anything like that they're just your basic wood cabinets but we were able to piece them together so we got the cabinet that had the sink insert in it we also got a lazy susan which is like the corner cabinet picked out some cabinets that had drawers going down that way it was good for like kitchen towels and ziploc bags and things you would want in drawers and then we had our stove in the middle and then we had another one that i wanted pretty large that way we could fit our pots and pans in there so we picked those specific cabinets out and then we also got a pantry so we just went to our home improvement store Store, um, just any any kind and you could get base cabinets that's what we did and it worked out really well they aren't fancy or anything like that but they do the job just fine we got them home we sanded them lightly it wasn't the best and wiped them off and then painted them and I went back and forth with the paint color for the kitchen but ultimately I decided on Sherwin Williams retreat it's this really pretty sage green and I had seen a couple different accounts on Pinterest and Instagram that had used this green color and I loved it it's more of a lighter green than I thought I was gonna go with I almost went with a really dark green but I'm glad I didn't because I feel like this leans more on the cottage side versus modern so I really do love the color that um, we picked out and it depends on the time of day sometimes they'll look lighter if the Sun is full-on today is kind of like a rainy cloudy day so they look a little bit darker for 2 30 in the afternoon but overall like in the evening they start getting darker and i'm afraid if i would have went much darker they would have looked very dark which is fine but that's not really the look i was going for picked out the bare marquee paint for cabinets and them color match the sherwin williams retreat color and they did that no problem so we um just got them home painted them we were going to spray them but we ran out of time and taylor just rolled them and trim them out by hand so that's how we did the cabinets now for the countertops this is my favorite part we found these beautiful formica countertops that look like marble they are so pretty they are gorgeous especially for the price these are less than the cabinets and i feel like they really set the tone for the kitchen so we bought the pieces for the countertops we had like a longer piece the corner piece and we were able to um, cut the sink in so i'll give you a close-up look of the countertops but i seriously love them they have been wonderful to clean so easy and they came with the backsplash the only thing we had to buy separate was a little end cap piece i almost went with butcher block on the countertops but i'm really glad that i went with these so no regrets to there now for the rest of the kitchen I'm just gonna kind of talk about what we did with the shelves and stuff I had seen a tutorial on Liz Marie blog on how she did her peg rail shelf also my friend Sky over at house and home she has a video on her YouTube channel showing how they made their peg rail shelves 
we watched those videos and then kind of made up our own design that is very similar but we went and got some boards and i think we went with one by eight for the top shelf and then i bought some corbels that were already made and we used those as our dividers and then i ordered the actual pegs themselves and everything came in we painted them the same color as the wall which is alabaster by sherwin williams but again we color matched it to bear paint and that's the main white color that you see in our entire apartment so we just matched it with the wall i almost did green but i'm really glad i didn't because i feel like it would have looked kind of odd um so they're the same color as the wall they blend in but they give some texture put the shelves up um, after we painted the walls put everything in and then i ordered a few things like our sink it's a very large farmhouse style drop-in sink i wanted to get an apron front but for the barn i decided to keep it simple it's a black stainless steel i love it it's so big it fits so many dishes in it and we don't have a dishwasher in our kitchen so it makes washing dishes really nice it also came with like a cutting board and a drying mat a few different like workstation attachments i love it it's so nice we also went with some brass finishes. So the faucet, we decided to go with brass. I also decided to go with brass pools. Now this is my one regret. And like I was talking about different golds earlier, whenever I ordered the gold handles and pools, they ended up being more of like a champagne gold where I like more of a true like rich brass gold. So be careful with that um, when ordering and picking out. I've learned my lesson for the new house. I want to make sure that all of the brass matches at least somewhat. But overall, I don't think it looks too bad. So I decided to keep it here in the barn. We also didn't have a microwave anymore since um, our last one was built into the wall in our last house. We didn't take it with us, but we did take our stove and our refrigerator so i had to buy a microwave and i found this cute little retro looking one it's worked really well and then for our kitchen table i was debating on what to do for a long time but ultimately i decided to make our kitchen table and our kitchen island work as one since we are so limited in this space so i found this table at our local thrift store and i bought it sanded it down and it had a really pretty finish underneath so I just whitewashed it with some like sun bleached stain and that took out all of the yellow cast I'll put on a before and after picture of the table but overall I'm so happy with how it turned out I feel like it gives that butcher block feel and I like the contrast of the wood with the cabinets being green and the countertops being that like faux marble so I'm really really happy with the table now I want to find another one to do for the main house so i'm on the hunt to find another table to sand down and stain this one i was going for more of a butcher block look but i want to make one that looks a little more just aged and raw so hopefully we'll be able to find that also after we had painted our kitchen cabinets the inside of them were kind of like a particle board they weren't the best looking so i just went and picked up some contact paper and i put it in side of the doors and I seriously love how it turned out it's so cute now and if you have some doors that aren't painted on the inside go find some contact paper that matches your aesthetic and just put it up on there you could always change it out if you want if your style changes but I found this green leaf one and I thought it was so pretty and it matched our green cabinets really well so I painted the like borders of the inside the same green color and then put up the contact paper in the middle and it's just so cute now it's just a fun little touch every time I open up the cabinets I see that and it just makes me really happy I've got lots of videos showing how I've decorated the kitchen especially the pegs and um, the shelf up top I am planning on doing a coffee bar nook on the other side of the pantry I have a cabinet that I have like all of our canned goods in and then I have an open shelf that I have a bunch of glass containers with wood lids on top that I'm going to be doing in a video really soon so stay tuned for that one if you have any other
other questions about the kitchen, just let me know. I will try my best to answer the comments down below. It's so fun getting to design a space and make it your own. This is the first space that I've been able to design on my own, not having to like remodel or add your own touches to after you bought it. So this building process has been so fun. Now I'm designing the kitchen for the main house and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned for more kitchen design and home building content. I've got lots of stuff planned and it's just fun to see it all come to life. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing those clips. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye friends.